This is a quick demonstration of the Reef Angel um, iPhone, iPod, mobile app. Um, pretty basic, it's only two screens uh, designed to go over the internet using your data connection, be it Wi Fi or 3G, and pull your Reef Angel controller for the latest temperature and, um, and relay statuses. Uh, it's pretty simple. It only needs one piece of information, a Wi-Fi URL. Uh, this points to the, the URL of your Wi-Fi adapter, your Reef Angel Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, in this case, it's just going to a dns.org URL for an account that I have set up there. And uh, it gets forwarded to my router, which has a port forward rule, and always points it to the, the Reef Angel Wi-Fi adapter. So this lets the app communicate with the adapter and, and your controller. Um, the screen just has a few basic settings, uh, temperature labels, and uh, relay box information. So you can label your your uh, your relay ports uh, to the equipment. So the the main screen here is uh, pretty basic. Just shows you the latest parameter data. Uh, your your water room light sensor data, uh, pH sensors, and the uh, the current statuses of your relay ports, your your equipment on the ports. Um, it's not dynamic, so you have to manually request an update. So it keeps your data usage down, keeps the memory usage down a little bit. So at the top right here, we have a refresh button. Should go out and update with the latest latest information from the controller. Uh, the water temperature is a little warm so my daylights as you can see are, are masked on just for this demonstration. The controller would normally have them off um, but if we wanted to control some of the, uh, the equipment on our tank here um, you can see kind of that bright light right in front of the tank is actually hooked up to the first port. It's labeled ATO, but it's really just that that clip-on light. Flip it off. Um, go over here, maybe flip off the daylights. Flip off the actinics. When it updates. All right, so you can see. Uh, those three ports now have three buttons next to them indicating a mask has been applied so they'll remain in, in this state, in the off state until either the mask is removed or you mask them on, in which case they'll, they'll stay on indefinitely. To remove the mask and put them back into auto mode uh, you can just click the, the blue button the uh, tank decided to turn on the, uh, the daylights this time, we can put the the actinix back on, put it back into auto mode so when the time comes the controller will turn it off and do another quick update.